pour yourself a cold one and join us for an hour filled to the brim with fun, bite your tushy, entertainment, donkey, don't give me that side, information, that is heavenly, and a little weirdness. Yeah, if you, if you show up to the St. Patty's Day Parade just In, with, with no green, we're pinching you. Yeah, we're right coming there. We're coming at you. With your permission, because we don't want to be sued. It's Happy Hour with DJ Kyle. Hello and welcome to Happy Hour. I'm DJ Kyle, your host for the next little bit. Sit back and relax because we have a very, very fun show. Very informative for you today. We're going to be heading out to the amphitheater, the Ozarks Amphitheater, to see all of the new construction and the new happenings there, getting ready for the 2024 season. It is going to be a great one. Also, we take you to our talk of the town at the Polar Bear Plunge and, and a little bit of a cold talk of the town on that one. And we go check in on a furry friends with a cat named Jack. All of that right here on Happy Hour. Happy Hour with DJ Kyle is here because of these amazing sponsors. Our Veterinary, with locations in Lynn Creek and Lori. Serdag Yamaha, your home for year-round fun. And American Elm Company, offering exceptional decor and interior design. If it's happening at the lake, it's happening on Lake TV. From the polar plunge, to festivals, parades, aquapalooza, and boat shows, Lake TV has it all. Even the granddaddy of them all, the shootouts. If you're looking for places to party, things to do, or even a new home to move into, you've gotta love Lake TV. Hey, it's your good pal, DJ Kyle. Want to let you know, I would love to see you guys out in person. Saturday, March 16th is big St. Patty's Day celebration in Lake Ozark. They have the St. Patty's Day Parade, which we will be in, and the Iberries, the band that I'm in, will be playing a show at the Encore, and you can get your cool Hooli shirt there. And of course, check me out, DJ Kyle, as I have some game nights all around the week. Monday nights, I'm at the Glory Hole with Music Bingo at 7 p.m., Tuesday's Red's Barbecue. We do music bingo there at 6.30. And every Wednesday night, I'm at Alley Cats at 6.30 for some trivia and music bingo. We do a little mix match. And then Thursday nights, I'm at the Highlander Public House for trivia nights at 6.30. So come out and see DJ Kyle. We'll see you around the block. Get ready for the best summer ever. Season 10 at Ozarks Amphitheater is packed full of improvements incredible bands, more improvements, hilarious comedy, and even more improvements. See the full lineup and grab tickets at ozarksamp.com. Welcome back to Happy Hour. I'm super excited because we are here with Mary Kay and we are at the Ozarks Amphitheater, the exclusive lake attraction of Happy Hour. And we're happy to have them back on board again this season. And what are we doing here, Mary Kay? What, where are we standing? This is new to me. <laughs> well, yes, this is actually a new part of our venue that we're going to be showcasing this season. We are standing in, and I'm not sure if this is the barbecue portion or the bar portion, of the new Stonebroke Bar and Grill. Yes. This will be open um, at five o'clock um, for every concert, and it'll give people a chance to get up here have some food and drink, listen to some great entertainment um, before we open gates for our concert season. I love it. What, what better thing to do to come out to a concert and just kind of pre-party before you get into the concert. That way you can get through security, you can you know get into the, the area and you kind of get that great feeling. So as you see behind us here, those silos are gonna be right here is gonna be one of them and right there is going to be another. There's going to be a building here in the middle. That's correct. We're going to be having some barbecue, some right? Some barbecue, yep. Ooh. Robert does the best smo um, smoked pulled pork. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I cannot I'm not wait. talking from experience, though. Yeah, exactly, yeah. 
after eating quite a bit, right? <laughs> so going to have a bar up here. There's so much going on at the amphitheater, and this summer is just going to blow your socks off with all of the great entertainment. But let's see all of the other construction that's going on here at the amphitheater. Let's go take a walk. Let's go. Okay, now we're at the main entrance, just right inside the main gate. Mm -hmm. uh, this is where a lot of people, when you come to concerts, a lot of people end up showing up at this gate. So you usually know what this looks like. And the, the concrete is, you know, goes all the way up and into the uh, amphitheater. Mm -hmm. But this is where we're standing now. This is the new ADA walkway now, right? That's correct, so yes. So it's gonna be a little bit smoother, not quite all the extra hills and, and, and turns slopes and, and curves and stuff yeah so we made it a straight shot right into the venue um, and it's going to have a bench on it and it'll be lighted and it is right behind our merch huts i love that i love that so a smooth entrance and mm -hmm. a smooth exit, exit to a concert that's great so who doesn't love that i know right so smooth let's see what else is going on here right? let's do it let's go for more walks All right, now we are standing in front of the area that made uh, really headline news last year. At the very beginning of the season, you guys had a horrific fire mm -hmm. uh, and it burnt the concession stand at that time and the office and the bathrooms. Uh, but now with everything that uh, bad happens, there's a, a rainbow here and right back behind us, we see the rainbow and it's a rainbow of bathrooms, right? That's a pleasant <laughs> play to put it, rainbow of bathrooms, love it. Oh. It's beautiful. <laughs> so so you guys have really increased the amount of bathrooms and, and facilities that we have here at the Ozarks Amphitheater, right? That's correct. And we've expanded our offerings that we have here. We're also building a similar bathroom experience out in the plaza. Um, our goal is to try to eliminate as many porta potties um, inside the venue that we can. Absolutely. Oh, so much going on at the amphitheater. So, we're not hey, done yet. What? We're not done? We're not done. You mean there's more? Let's go see. Oh, let's see. I think back behind us we have something here. Let's go up and be. take a look. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Okay, <laughs> so we're standing up where the future skybox uh -huh. is that? Now, how did, you, how did you get this idea here? Well, about two years ago, um, it was the day after the last show, and we were standing up here talking, and it was like, man, this seriously is, and I've got to say, it is the best seat in the house. You got a great view of all the seats, yeah. perfect view of the stage, and it would be, you know what would be really cool? Is if we could just push this out yeah. and make a deck and so um, that's where it started. And coming this season, we are going to have our sponsors, Skybox. I love this. So mm -hmm. this is this is just gonna stretch it's out. Going out, it's gonna have three tiers to it. It'll be nine tables. Boy, the sponsors are gonna have some nice seating right here at the amphitheater. It's going to be the place to be this season. I think so. So maybe maybe you wanna be a part of the Ozarks Amphitheater and sponsor. Well, somebody's gotta be doing the work some got somebody's got to be in there booking the bands doing the office work so i assume there's an office to the place right of course there's an office well let's would you love see, to see it i would like to see the office <laughs> let's go well like i said there's got to be a place where everything gets done and all of the paperwork gets done. Oh, I love the paperwork. Yeah, and, and unfortunately <laughs> last year that your office uh, got burnt, so mm -hmm. then you kind of had to make shift move to a, a new office. To Van Hook's Bait mm -hmm. and Tackle. And now we have, ta-da! Our new temporary office. The new temporary office. So uh, this this will be where a lot of work gets uh, done. And and we kind of were able to look inside. It's, it's very empty at this point, mm -hmm. but uh, you're gonna have a lot of uh, desk in there and a lot of uh, people in there, a lot of uh, moving parts and... It'll officially be open, I guess I should say, our target date for the office to be open here on property is April 1st. Okay. Yeah, so um, if you're looking to buy tickets, um, there's still opportunities to buy them in person, then save yourself on those ticketing fees. Mm -hmm. You can go to Bridal Cave or Split Arrow Boutique down on the Strip. 
Okay, very good. And we have so many great shows that you're already announcing and there's more that you're going to be announcing. What are just some of them just off the top of your head that you We've have got coming Tom up? Segura coming. We've got Whiskey Myers for two nights, yeah. which is gonna be absolutely so fun. Uh, we got Willie Nelson coming back. I'm so excited about yes, that one. I am too. The Beach Boys are also coming back. I mean, who doesn't love the Beach Boys? And Tom's got a great idea this year for the Beach Boys. We're turning the pit area into a beach so oh. we're bringing in sand so wear your flip-flops and come have some fun oh i love that i love that so now why don't you tell everyone where they can go and get the entire lineup of all the concerts that you have now and where they can find out where you're going to be announcing the the new concerts um go to our website ozarksamp.com it's got everything that we've got um, scheduled so far and that have been announced all of our announcements, follow us on social media. And as always, the best place to buy tickets is off of our website, ozarksamp.com. Absolutely. Mary Kay, thank you so much for showing us around the uh, all the new happenings here at the Ozarks Amphitheater. So make sure you check them out online. Make sure you get tickets this year and just come and see in person all of the cool stuff that's going on. And don't forget to support your local bands because we have a lot of local bands that we are going to be opening and playing in the, in the bar area, the new the bar Stone area. Stonebrook Bar and Grill. Mm -hmm. and, and also the plaza. And the plaza and uh, some of my friends, Tiny Moose will be there. And I think I'm going to be DJing there You as well. will, yes. Ooh, I'm excited. So it's going to be great. Go online, get your tickets today, ozarksamp.com. Whatever it is that pulls you in, Yamaha is here to elevate every moment and bring you closer to where you need to be. That's the power of the water. Visit Surdak Yamaha at Lake of the Ozarks, 50 years strong. The Ozarks Amphitheater is the exclusive attraction of Happy Hour, and we are super excited about them announcing new concerts for their 2024 Central Ozarks Medical Center Concert Series. It's going to be fantabulous. Make sure you stay in the know by following them on Facebook, and you can get all of your tickets online at OzarksAmp.com. Your furry friends are more than pets, they're family. And at Our Veterinary, we understand that. With multiple locations, we can service your pets when and where you need it. Our team of professionals offer routine wellness, orthopedic care from broken bones to joint repair, and even emergency services. We are ready to welcome your pet to our family with medical or preventative care. Our Veterinary, with six convenient locations, the team providing exceptional care for your pet when and where you need it. Hey, welcome into another edition of Kevin Hilly's Talk of the Town. Today, we're at the Polar Plunge at Public Beach number two. Oh, it's some cold water out there. You got some very brave souls braving this icy water. And in honor of that, we're gonna play a little ice cold trivia. The coldest temperature ever recorded in Missouri was 22 below, 33 below, or 40 below. What do you think? Come on. 23 below? No. Was it 22 below zero? Was it 33 below zero? Or was it 40 below zero? What was C? The, the choice, uh, 40 below zero. It's 22 below zero. 33 below zero or 40 below zero? I'm gonna have to say 33 below zero. 33, excellent choice, but that's not it. It was 40. <sighs> oh. The coldest temperature ever recorded in Missouri. Was it 22 below zero? Was it 33 below zero? Or was it 40 below zero? 40 below zero. Look how confident, yeah. that's exactly right. 1911 in Warsaw, Missouri. Isn't that nuts? That's crazy. I know, I know. <laughs> Would you go polar plunging in 40 below zero? Probably. Probably. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Okay. <laughs> okay.
<laughs> what, what's the coldest it ever was when you were, since oh, you were God. plunging? We were tank? one year, it was snowing and we were penguins and we, mom had these little felt are you mom? Feet, yeah. We had these little felt feet on top of our shoes, uh, and I swear it was frozen. Did you to go my all the shoe. way in the water? Yeah. I Under told uh, people to quit coming. Yeah, like it was so cold that people were. Being and you're told like, what do you mean quit come. coming? I'm there. Yeah. yeah. No, especially it's such it's for such a good cause. Yeah. You know? Sure. Okay. <laughs> what was the snow? What was the snowman's name in Frozen? Uh, Olaf. Olaf. Yeah. Olaf, apparently. <laughs> Olaf. Olaf, yes, yes. You better, you better keep this woman. I know, I know that's why she's on my she's, side. She's frozen, but she's good. Okay. So she knows frozen because she's because she is frozen. Okay. The famous line in Game of Thrones, blank is coming. The British? No. Oh. No. In Game of Thrones, a TV show, Game of Thrones. Uh something's coming. Oh, I haven't watched that show. Uh, oh, is it? Very famous line from that. They say it a lot. Oh, uh. Blank is coming. Snow? No, 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 oh. no help, no Wait, help. Wait, winter, winter is winter's coming. Winter's coming! Yeah. Yeah. Did somebody tell you that? No, I actually have never yeah, seen it. Yeah, let's hear it for Lydia, huh? Come on, yeah. come on. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> I don't know about you, but after that, I could use a blanket and a cup of hot chocolate. That's another edition of Kevin Hilly's Talk of the Town. I'll catch you on the radio Monday through Friday from 5.30 to 10 on 94.3 Cat Country, Hilly and Hart, and then on 101.9 The Wave each day between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Thanks for watching this edition of Kevin Hilly's Talk of the Town on Lake TV. Get ready for the best summer ever. Season 10 at Ozarks Amphitheater is packed full of improvements, incredible bands, more improvements, hilarious comedy, and even more improvements. See the full lineup and grab tickets at ozarksamp.com. Winter, spring, summer, or fall, Lake TV's got it all. We think it's hot stuff when things cool down. We spring into action when things start warming up. Of course, summer is one big, huge shootout on Lake TV. And we fall in love all over again when autumn rolls around. Winter, spring, summer, or fall, Lake TV's got it all. The Ozarks Amphitheater is the exclusive attraction of Happy Hour, and we are super excited about them announcing new concerts for their 2024 Central Ozarks Medical Center Concert Series. It's going to be fantabulous. Make sure you stay in the know by following them on Facebook, and you can get all of your tickets online at OzarksAmp.com. Your furry friends are more than pets, they're family. And at our veterinary, we understand that. With multiple locations, we can service your pets when and where you need it. Our team of professionals offer routine wellness, orthopedic care from broken bones to joint repair, and even emergency services. We are ready to welcome your pet to our family with medical or preventative care. Our veterinary, with six convenient locations, the team providing exceptional care for your pet when and where you need it. Welcome to another edition of Furry Friends presented by our veterinary. We're out here at Ozark's Cat and Canine. We have a very adorable and one of the softest kitties I have ever pet. Uh, this is Jack. And of course, I'm here with Mary Meow, Meow Me Tilly. <laughs> Tell me about Jack. Okay, so Jack, we have estimated to be about two years old. Uh, he came in with his wife, Jill. Okay. And their five babies. All the, um, all the boys, there's three boys and they're all orange. His wife is a tortie and all the girl babies are torties. Uh, they were found in a box literally sitting in the middle of the highway. Oh goodness. Big cardboard box with a lid on it. The lady said she swerved to miss it and then stopped and went back to go move it out of the road mm -hmm. and opened it up and found 
Oh my seven cats. Seven cats inside. Not that we have to say this, yeah. but that's not what you do. That's not what you do. <laughs> Please yeah. don't do that. <laughs> and and we're, it's pretty obvious from the baby's appearance. They were about three weeks old when they came in. Pretty obvious from their appearance that these are the parents. Mm -hmm. You know. And I felt so bad for Jack when they first came in because, of course, the babies at three weeks, they're still nursing. Yeah. So I've got five babies and mama in one very large kennel upstairs. And then Jack was in a kennel by himself across the way, mm -hmm. across the room where he was laying there and watching his family. Oh, and goodness. And so you, know, you could just tell he was so sad that he wasn't with them. Yeah. Um, I begged the girls, I said, please move him somewhere else upstairs <laughs> that he can't, the he can't see them, you know, yeah. directly across the room. But he is the sweetest boy, um, mm -hmm. very soft, very cuddly. Uh, he does have a couple of little strange abnormalities mm -hmm. that the vet has looked at and said it's nothing to be concerned of, oh, okay, but good. we want to make sure people know it. Um, so first off is his tail. Mm -hmm. um, at some point in the past, obviously, it's been broken. Mm -hmm. You can feel the, the, the cartilage, the bone inside yeah. it. Um, it's, it's very short and very fluffy. Yes. <laughs> and absolutely <laughs> adorable. But if you feel the very end of it, it instead of being straight at the end, it kind of curves yep. around in a, like a little loop at the yeah. end. So we don't know what happened there, but probably some kind of accident in the past. And then he also has a, uh, what's known as a, like a floating rib. Okay. A uh, piece of cartilage uh, on his underside that you can feel it sticks out. Mm -hmm. uh, the vet did check him over and everything and said obviously it's not hurting him. Uh, sometimes cats, sometimes humans have that where the bone will, will pop out and you can push yeah. it back in. And so that's what he has. And as of right now, it's not anything to, be, to worry about. Okay. Uh, they could do surgery and like if it seemed to be bothering him, hurting him, they could do surgery and open him up and remove it, but mm. since it doesn't seem to be bothering him in no any way, there's no need to put him, through, no that. Need to put him yeah. through that. Yes, yeah, that makes sense. Because that would be pretty traumatic. Yeah. But we are now neutered, so no more babies for Jack. <laughs> and um, he's neutered up to date, all that good stuff, uh, ready to be adopted and find a home. Uh, his wife and kids, it'll be quite a while because they are... They're so I, young. I'd say they're probably about five weeks mm. old now. Mm -hmm. So ideally we like to see them nurse until, if she will have it, until they're about eight weeks. Mm -hmm. And then uh, she can't get fixed until the babies are weaned. Oh, gotcha. So we're looking at probably another month or so on Jill and, yeah. and the babies. We've got currently three nursing mamas upstairs. Oh, wow. So kitten Lots season is here. Yep. Yep. Uh, his babies are the oldest. Uh, we have a litter that was born here that are about three weeks old now. And we have another litter that was found, uh, mama and babies found in a shed. Mm. And they are um, about two and a half weeks now, I think. So okay. we're going to have a lot of little kittens probably within the next couple of months. And that's what everybody's been calling and asking yep. for. Do you have kittens? Yes, everybody <laughs> yes. wants little ones. And I do totally understand that if they have smaller children, if they have other pets in the house they're trying to introduce mm -hmm. to, you know, it's much easier introduction when you've got the little bitty babies. Yeah. But we don't want these guys like Jack and, and we've got a lot of adults right now that are available. And we don't want them to get overlooked yeah just because there's little ones yes i mean and they are just equally as sweet i mean look at this mm -hmm. goodness yeah He's and the so nice fun. thing about adopting an adult is you see what you're getting yes you know, you know their personality <laughs> their litter box trained you know that kind of stuff <laughs> Yeah, he is so belly. sweet. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Do you know if belly? he um, has any special requirements? Is he good with cats or kids or dogs? Do we know? So any of that? we haven't had him in direct contact with any okay. other cats yet, but as we were getting ready to film and we opened mm -hmm. up the door, he has booped noses with both of the cats on either side of him. Yes. There's not been any any hissing or growling or anything from him. He obviously lived with another adult, mm -hmm. um, you know, beforehand. Got along with her very well, yes. apparently. <laughs> um, yeah. But um, yeah, no requirements at this time. Okay. Um, just, you know, somebody who 
we would just want their, his adopter to understand the deal with his rib and there everything. There could be a potential. And there could potentially later there. on. Yeah. Um, but like I said, as a right, it's probably something that he was born with. We've mm. had some younger ones here in the past that have had that. Okay. And um, you know, as long as he's not having any issues, any pain from it, yeah. then then nothing to worry about. All right, sounds good. He is just the sweetest. Oh my mm -hmm. goodness, his eyes are closed <laughs> over here. He's loving all of this. <laughs> goodness. So if you would like to apply to adopt Jack, you can do so at OzarksCatAndCanine.com. And of course, I always <laughs> recommend, look at this. Come down here, hang out with him. He's just the cuddliest, sweetest boy. Goodness. Yeah, he doesn't seem to mind. Like, <laughs> like he he let you pick him up a couple times, yeah. but it doesn't really seem to want to be held long term. Yeah, he's got. But I think he's definitely going to be one that's going to you know jump up on the couch or in the chair with you. Oh yeah. Probably going to want to sleep in bed with you. Yep. Yeah. 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 He's, he he's, likes he's to he likes bug. to cuddle. Yeah. Oh gosh, he's so sweet. <laughs> Somebody come get him so I don't take him home. Again, OzarksCatAndCanine.com. Apply to adopt him. And that does it for another Furry Friends, presented by our veterinary. Your furry friends are more than pets, they're family. And at Our Veterinary, we understand that. With multiple locations, we can service your pets when and where you need it. Our team of professionals offer routine wellness, orthopedic care from broken bones to joint repair, and even emergency services. We are ready to welcome your pet to our family with medical or preventative care. Our Veterinary, with six convenient locations, the team providing exceptional care for your pet when and where you need it. The Ozarks Amphitheater is the exclusive attraction of Happy Hour, and we are super excited about them announcing new concerts for their 2024 Central Ozarks Medical Center Concert Series. It's going to be fantabulous. Make sure you stay in the know by following them on Facebook, and you can get all of your tickets online at OzarksAmp.com. If it's happening at the lake, it's happening on Lake TV. From the polar plunge, to festivals, parades, aquapalooza, and boat shows, Lake TV has it all. Even the granddaddy of them all, the shootouts. If you're looking for places to party, things to do, or even a new home to move into, you've got to love Lake TV. Hey, it's your good pal, DJ Kyle. Want to let you know, I would love to see you guys out in person. Saturday, March 16th is big St. Patty's Day celebration in Lake Ozark. They have the St. Patty's Day Parade, which we will be in, and the Iberries, the band that I'm in, will be playing a show at the Encore, and you can get your cool Hooli shirt there. And of course, check me out, DJ Kyle, as I have some game nights all around the week. Monday nights, I'm at the Glory Hole with Music Bingo at 7 p.m., Tuesday's Red's Barbecue. We do music bingo there at 6.30. And every Wednesday night, I'm at Alley Cats at 6.30 for some trivia and music bingo. We do a little mix match. And then Thursday nights, I'm at the Highlander Public House for trivia nights at 6.30. So come out and see DJ Kyle. We'll see you around the block. Happy Hour with DJ Kyle is here because of these amazing sponsors. Our Veterinary, with locations in Lynn Creek and Lori. Serdike Yamaha, your home for year-round fun. And American Elm Company, offering exceptional decor and interior design. Hey, it's DJ Kyle. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you for tuning in here to Happy Hour. Also, thanks to everyone on our show. I'll tell you what, that last bit, the uh, furry friends with Megan, I think maybe she might have taken that cat home. Uh, that cat named Jack should get adopted pretty soon. Very cute one. Also want to say thanks to Kevin Hilly taking us out to the Polar Bear Plunge and the Ozarks Amphitheater. Tell you what, stay tuned because the Ozarks Amphitheater has a great show lined up for 2024. And stay tuned right here because we have a great lineup right here on Lake TV. And until next time, I'm DJ Kyle. We'll see you then.